Hi folks, we hope you'll enjoy the upcoming answers to this hot question. What makes you happy? Getting random messages from friends. Honestly I would really like this, these days I settle for random notifications from the apps on my phone. Hey mate, here you have another notification. If I had any cash to spare I'd give one of those rewards. But anyhow, here is some love. My tinnitus went away 5 minutes 24th of June this year, it was the happiest moment I have had in many years. That must have been such a relief, I'm happy for you buddy. Thank you so much. I have struggled a lot, but that day gave me hope that one day it will be gone, or at least, not so loud. I want to hear clearly again. I can hear clearly now, the ring is gone. Watching my favorite people succeed in life. You mean you don't get green with envy? Not really, tbh. I think as long as I'm able to go through things at my own pace it should be fine. I feel like if you really care for that person, you wouldn't really feel envious or any other strong negative feelings. A nice cup of tea in the afternoon with nothing else to do for the rest of the day. You mean hot leaf juice? A member of my own family. Could say something so terrible. Just talking slash vibing with certain people is absolutely awesome. Yeah these days a good conversation with someone I care about makes me happier than anything. Yeah, I have this friend, and whenever we're on call, it's one hour minimum. We talk about our love lives, politics, career plans, international law, our major, our college mates, families, and it just goes on. Unsolicited reassurance. We'll all be dead one day and none of this will matter. Thanks, now I'm afraid of what kind of unsolicited stuff I can get. You might have just opened a floodgate of terrible news. My husband of 25 years. I'm so thankful for him. How can I be this to my wife? I was going to write a whole bunch of crap, but it really comes down to three things. Affection, appreciation, and respect. Make sure she knows that you love her, you're glad for each day together, and that her thoughts and feelings are important and valuable to you. My beautiful little two-year-old daughter when she sees me for the first time all day and runs over to me and hugs my leg until I pick her up. Like you're the best person in the world. Maybe you are? In her world probably. A social event or meeting being cancelled. Real introvert's dream. I'm so introverted that I didn't attend my high school graduation. My high school didn't have a graduation. F 2020. Silence, a great cup of coffee, a cat purring in my lap, and the darkness of night. Ah, the real introvert's dream. Actually, I'm an introvert, and when I'm alone, I can blast heavy metal through my headsets or just open a movie series I have no intentions of watching, just to hear the sound. Apparently, I can't think around people but I use noise to think clearly sometimes. September is here and the heat died down, the days are shorter and I had to get a blanket out last night. That makes me like, irrational levels of happy. Autumn is my favorite season. God I love October. Cool weather. Spooky decorations. Scary movies. Coffee in the morning. Colorful leaves. Football. The smell of the scholastic book fair in the air. Life is good in the fall. Getting praised for doing something right, since I always mess up almost everything and I've disappointed many people. You have completely perfect spelling in this comment and for that I commend you. I want to give you an award but I can't I'm sorry. Ah. Peaches and cream, that's okay. Thank you kindly. Travel, specifically solo travel. I've been all over the world by myself and the best memories are the ones unplanned. I make friends super easy and I'm that typical loud, huggy Texan so people are generally warm to me minus Germany. I've been invited to eat dinner at people's homes, share a pint at a bar, and hike cliffs with someone that doesn't share the same language. Travel tears down the walls of ignorance and builds the love of others. Except those bloody Germans. I was on the patio of a bar in Germany having some drinks with co-workers when I had to use the restroom. The inside was packed with a bunch of people and it was hard to make my way to the back where the bathrooms were. I politely said and shulled again but I don't think anyone heard me so I did the thing where you touch the person gently on the shoulder and repeated excuse me to get past several people. They all gave me a really nasty look like I was ruining fear day and they were ready to punch me for the tactile intrusion. These were big, intimidating dudes, too. When I came out of the bathroom, the song you're the one that I want from Greece was playing. These same, giant, intimidating dudes were now gleefully singing and dancing to the Olivia Newton-John part, oh 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 and all. It was. 
Confusing. My dog. I also choose this guy's dog. Count me in. My kids. Same here. Lamau that username. Nice melody to a music with nice vocals and lyrics. Specify. I want that specific song you thought of. Um. I have been dealing with debilitating sciatica. The pain in my leg during a flare up was so painful it brought me to the floor, unable to get up for 10 to 15 minutes. What makes me happy is that I haven't had a flare up in two weeks and my general pain isn't as bad anymore. While misery loves company, I wish all of you pain free lives. I thought sciatic pain was bull poop until it hit me about three months ago. I've finally gotten it to a manageable place, and I was so incredibly wrong about just how debilitating it is. Best of luck to you, what would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.